Now to a CBS 4 News health alert on e-cigarettes, and there is some new research that shows that teens who use them could be exposing themselves to toxic chemicals. CBS 4's Kenneth Craig explains why some say the use of them should be concerning. More and more teenagers have been trying e-cigarettes. Now a new study in the journal Pediatrics shows teens who use them are exposed to significant levels of chemicals that could potentially cause cancer, also found in traditional cigarettes. Acrolein is so toxic that it is used in chemical weapons. Acrylonitrile is another chemical that's found in this study. If you breathe it in, it will uh, irritate your lungs. It also is uh, possibly related to brain cancer and breast cancer. Teens who used e-cigarettes had three times the amount of toxic chemicals compared to teens who didn't use them. Among teens who used both traditional and e-cigarettes, those toxic chemical levels were up to three times higher than in only e-cigarette users. E-cigarettes are so popular that they're now the most commonly used form of tobacco among teens in the United States. Dr. John Spangler from Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center cautions the long-term effects of vaping are not known. Electronic cigarettes generate nicotine in the vapor. And nicotine is a toxin to the growing, developing brain. These are not benign chemicals. The most recent data shows more than 2 million middle and high school students were current users of e-cigarettes in 2016. In New York, Kenneth Craig, CBS 4 News. And the Tobacco Vapor Electronic Cigarette Association responded to the study citing a government report from January. That report said that there is no available evidence that e-cigarette use is associated with any cancer. But clearly there's a lot more that needs to be studied. Mm -hmm. Some more research needs to be done to so figure out exactly what's going on there. Absolutely worth looking into just quite a bit more.